What's up everybody? Happy Halloween! Even though Halloween's tomorrow when I'm making this video. This is Mike, and this is our Halloween special. Yeah, we're going back to Call of Duty World at War because there's two things I love best about Halloween. Candy and killing zombies. I got a pack of Skittles right here, and here I'm going to have some zombies. We're going to go back to play the first zombie map, Nocturne Toten, Night of the Undead. They say video games don't teach you anything. I learned German right there. Anyway, good old cutscene. Crash airplane. You're blacking out. This figure's approaching you. Blacking out again. Oh shit, one's running at you. Here it comes. Nazi zombies. Yeah, back then when it was called just Nazi zombies, before there was a whole zombie timeline and all that crap. I totally forgot about the demonic laugh. Alright, so. This is not going to end. Run down building. It's foggy out. Like midnight, probably. You got a bunker, you got weapons. You kinda suck at first. These World War II guns. Yeah. Anyways, I remember when this game came out, and like, everybody at school was like going nuts because there's Nazi zombies and everything. Once you beat the campaign. Yes, at first the whole zombie thing, it was just like a bonus for beating the campaign in World of War because nobody really played it in Call of Duty 4, and. Yeah, it became so popular, they came out with new map packs that had new zombie maps in them, and it made this whole zombie story, which is what we have today, and this map's really basic, there's no perk machines, there's only one wonder weapon, the ray gun, there's a zombie, stab him, only round one, oh my god, I forgot how bad the knife was, it sounds weird. Yeah, there's no announcer guy, so when you get a power-up, you know you're at a max ammo or whatever. This is how basic this novel is, but yeah, this game came out five years ago. I was a freshman in high school. I can't believe that was five years ago. Feels like it was yesterday. And I remember we were in our basement. This game was like new and everything. Me and my buddy Matt. We were like obsessed with Nazi zombies. We were competing against Joe and Sean to see who could survive the longest on this map. I think we won, I don't remember. I think we won like one competition, they won another, I don't really remember, but some good old memories. Yeah, the cult in this game sucks really bad. As you can see there. I got a lot of ammo, I'm just gonna use it up. Oh yeah, the zombies also, they don't reach through the windows and, like, grab you, which I actually like, because I hate getting double swiped. Yeah, there's a lot of them coming in now. It's kind of slow, like, the whole knifing thing. But then again, the knifing in Black Ops 2 sucks cock, so I'm not really complaining. That zombie? Yeah, knifing's so much better. It's awesome. But yeah, these are legit Nazis. You can see, like, swastikas on them. I don't care who's online. Uh... Yeah, and also if you shoot these barrels, apparently like a musical Easter egg plays. I don't know how it works. I've never done it, but... I read that on the Call of Duty wiki one time. So that's just something interesting. Where's the last zombie now? Our Xbox makes the weirdest noise whenever we play this game. Dead. Okay, I, I'm gonna need to buy a gun. So I'm just gonna buy a car 98 since this thing's almost out of ammo. I don't want to open this door yet. The help door. With an incomplete P. So it says like, hell. Pretty much just hell. I don't know if they were intending to do that. Well, yeah, you can either open that, or you can open this door and, like, have that door closed. Like, I've done both methods with success in the past. Ooh, double points. So, yeah, this is a hard map, just because there's, like, no... There's no perg machines, there's no pack-a-punch, there's no traps. It's just a building. Oh, yeah, and, like, they tell you how much time you actually have on double points and everything. They don't do that. This is the only map they did that on, I think. It's just, so much has changed since this map. It's ridiculous. Oh shit, I missed. 
I might have to open this door up, just because there's like, so many of them coming after me. Fuck. I've gotten out of situations before. Because I'm pro at zombies. I don't want to toot my own horn, but... When you survive as long as I have on some of these maps, you can't help but call yourself an awesome zombie killer. I'm so ready for Halloween tomorrow. All the zombies. Got some big blood. You're gonna buff some funny pranks. That zombie's headless. And a nuke. And there's no zombies to use it on. Now I think it would be a good time to open this door because. Is it gonna go? Oh, okay, yeah. A mystery box is here. There's no teddy bear. It doesn't move. There's also. My personal favorite, the Thompson. I think there's another gun in here? Oh yeah, here. Double barrel shotgun. That gun's alright, you just gotta reload it a lot. There's no speed goal, so it's kinda hard to use. Also, zombies break down this wall, so... I don't know how. It's concrete, but whatever. Thompson, yeah, the real money maker. I love it. Like, when I play a Doris, and, and like, I'm packing a bunch of guns, I leave this thing unpacked a bunch because it just makes money and it's still, still effective with like, double tap. And everyone's like, Mike, you're gonna upgrade this thing? I'm like, nope. I do the same thing with like, the MP40. I just use it as a money maker. Like on Origins or whatever. I always have one sub machine gun and I don't pack a bunch. And you make a lot of money, I already made up all the money I lost by opening doors and shit. Alright, come on, Thompson. Only problem with opening this door is like, yeah, there's two ways that you can come in. Like, you can come from behind you and all that. Wow, I just missed a lot. Oh, shit. That's just me getting out of a sticky situation again. Alright, I'm gonna top off on ammo. Did they break down this wall yet? No. I'm also gonna hit the box. The car 98's not gonna do much anymore. Oh man, I haven't used some of these guns in so long. PDRS. This thing's probably like the DSR. It's just like one of those badass sniper rifles. It's like a one hit kill. It's a slow reload though, so I'm not gonna keep it for too long, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, as you can see. I mean, I just shot him in the balls, and that was a one-hit kill. Right in the knee. Took a sniper bullet to the knee. Stupid Skyrim jokes. I don't even play Skyrim. I just can't watch it. Like with Joe plays it. It's horrible. So, if we're gonna make any Skyrim videos, don't expect me to be in them. Because I'm not going to. Yeah, this thing's doing work, though. Oh, shit. But we got instant kill. Stab time. Maybe not, because, hey look, another one. Yeah, you can get surrounded easily. Stab. I don't want to stab them all. There's like, groups like that. Yeah, I'm making all my money back. Hold on, what the hell? No, this controller is retarded. I need to turn up my sensitivity. Oh, that's so much... Actually, I'm on custom. Yeah, this is good. This is what I use on, on like, Black Ops. Oh, it's a good off. Perfect timing. Alright, do I want to keep this thing? Uh... Let's see what else I can get. I mean, I haven't used some of these guns in, like, ages, so I want to see what I can do. Oh yeah, I'm a grand. I love this thing. And it has a noob tube on it. Oh yeah, the zombie side of never do. What? And they're sprinting now. Ping! When my grandpa was in the Korean War, he's an M1 grand. But since he was left handed, the cartridge always like popped out and it hit him on the head, my dad, that is. Okay, this is not going as good as I thought it would be. Just cheating death right there. 
Yeah, it's a funny story about my grandma when he was in the Korean War. How did we ever su survive without pack a bunch of guns? Like, I just... I can't remember that time. It was so long ago. We've relied on the pack a bunch. Anyway, yeah, this gun... Not as good as I... It's good early on, but things are starting to get crazy. The Panzer Shrek. I only like this gun from the campaign when Reznor's like, FIRES THE PANZER SHREK! What, double barrel? I'll just keep it. I'm showing off all these World War II guns. It's pretty good, but yeah, you gotta reload it a lot. Which is annoying as shit. My favorite gun's in the box, though. I hope I get it in this video. If I do, I might cry because I've used it in so long. Holy shit, that was overkill. Die, Sprinter. Die, Zombie. This room's empty. Weird. Yeah, this thing's good. Like, but if, like, if there was Smeagol, I would like totally use this gun. Back to ammo. Perks didn't come out to the next map, which was Varict. Which I might make a video in the future, but. Not anytime soon, we're just working on so many different videos, it's getting crazy. Double points, I should use the Thompson. Perfect. Just perfect. Shit! But yeah, the one time we left this door closed, we came from upstairs and we just camped right here by the box, me and a few of my friends. Oh man, we got... So, we got to rank about 20 something, which for this map was impressive. Yes! Here it is! The Browning! My favorite! Oh man, I missed this thing so much and I just got it from the box. I'm so happy. I haven't used this thing in so long. This thing was my baby. Uh, how do you not like this thing? It's the best. Zombie sounded so weird on this map. Seriously, this thing is like the greatest thing since Swiss cheese. Alright, since it's a go, I'm gonna reload this thing. Since it's a pain in the ass to reload. Everybody always likes the MG42 over this thing. Just because it reloads quicker, but. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Fuck. I got, ha, ah, look at that, 115 kills, of course. Of course it's 115. I mean, the whole zombie thing. Oh well, eight rounds, whatever. I'm by myself, it's kind of hard. I just wanted to show you guys this map. I showed you my favorite gun, I showed you... The one thing I didn't show you actually was... Upstairs, I might do that actually. I was going to end it, but... Uh, let's just go a little longer, whatever. I got nothing to do. Joe's not home. Well, actually, that's kind of nice. Because it's nice and quiet. There's like so many videos we gotta make, though. I... But Wednesdays are bad days for that. Today is a Wednesday, the day before Halloween. But yeah, Wednesday, Sean goes to his dad's house. And Pat has band camp. <laughs> band camp. Whatever. Um... Yeah. I'm probably gonna post this video tomorrow because it's Halloween and I'm trying to post out two videos a week again. We might go to three, but one of them won't be a let's play, but we'll see. That zombie's finally dead. All the barrels are exploding, what the fuck? This one went by that went really slow. Yeah, this cost a thousand. I need an I want a gun. I might buy the carbine this time. I haven't used the carbine in forever. But yeah, the multiplayer on this game was tough because, like, I never got the, the highest level in this game. I tried for, like, forever. 
Like, I tried for the whole year this game out, and part of where Modern Warfare 2 came out, because I got so pissed off at that game, because everyone used noob dupes and shit, but... I never made it, just because it was so hard to level up. So I never got to use the browning on multiplayer. My one regret about this game. Plus I played a lot of Halo back then also. I was a Halo 3 junkie. Yeah, I missed this gun though, Carbine. Come on. I don't think this gun's a good money maker though. I mean, it's alright, but... Not something I'd use the entire game. Except one time I did it, and I actually got a lot of kills. And I'm pretty sure this thing would be good in, like, Black Ops, with, like, Double Tap. The only World War II gun I have is... The MP40. And the Tommy gun. What the hell's in this bucket? Ah! I moved it. I'm interacting with it. I'm trying to push it off onto the ground. Damn it! Whatever, I'm wasting time. <laughs> what else can I fuck around with? Can I shoot this light out? Nope, well, I put a hole in it. Nothing happens. Weird shit happens during a full moon. Like a zombie attack. Except there's no full moon tonight. Die zombie. Max ammo. Alright. After this round, I'm probably gonna like go upstairs. Oh shit. <laughs> By the way, I'm like showing everybody all this stuff. People have probably seen it already, but I want people to like reminisce. Because I don't think anybody plays this game anymore. Like this is the first time I've played it in like a year probably. Maybe two. Black Ops 2 has been like my fucking life with the zombies. Oh right, yeah, here we go. You must have said for darkness. It says that on a couple maps. Right here they have style hand grenades. Sawed off double barrel shotgun. The mysterious cabinet, which holds a crappy sniper. And one of my favorites, trench gun, which I'm taking. Yeah, there's like a scoped car 98 in here. It's not worth opening. Oh, yeah, and there's the bar. Yeah. And that's the help room. The box is down there. But. I'm gonna have to suck it out up here. What the hell is that noise? Joseph, this game makes weird noises from the Xbox. I think I said that already, but. I like it the ray gun from the box, because in this game the ray gun was actually like good. It didn't make crawlers, and I just killed two zombies right there with one bullet. That's how awesome the trench gun is. Reload. <laughs> yeah, this thing was the best on Doris because you could like buy ammo for it, you can hack a bunch of it and all that fun shit. This map's not like that. Oh, here they come. So, I was expecting to hear double points. I just killed three zombies there, I think. That was awesome. I love the trench gun. Closest thing to it is the Remington. But, that's kind of newbie and like, people always like, they abuse it on multiplayer and Black Ops. I keep talking about Black Ops. Why don't I talk about ghosts a little? I'm excited for ghosts. I like the new mode that's coming out with the aliens extinction. It looks fun. It makes up for the lack of zombies. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to get Ghost at first because I, I love Black Ops 2 so much, but yeah, I'm excited for it. After seeing the multiplayer trailer and the extinction and everything, and like the soldier customization, it looks like it's going to be a lot better than Modern Warfare 3, which I was not a fan of. Like, I don't miss that game at all. I, don't, I played it once since Black Ops 2 came out. It's just... It wasn't that good to me. But whatever. French gun. Love this thing. So much fun to use. Especially when it's pack a bunch, because they just explode. Ah, I miss Speedcola. I also miss Leroy. From Barry. <laughs> Die. 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 Only bad thing is, I'm not making money, I'm getting 60 points a kill. Also, the nuke, I forgot to say, doesn't give you any money. But I'm gonna open this up now. Alright, do I hit the box or have I had the toms in? I'll hit the box, I'm feeling lucky. Oh, I got the fucking spring field. This thing is seriously the worst gun ever. It's worse than the war machine. It's worse than the China Lake or whatever it was called. This thing sucks balls. Like, even on round one, it's like impossible to kill a zombie with. I will demonstrate. One hit to the head. Two. Three. I think I missed there. Finally, he's a junk, even though it is American. Probably gonna get myself killed trying to show this thing off. Stop fucking around. I'm probably gonna go buy a Thompson now. That'd be a good idea. Oh boy. Also on this map, there's like no special zombies. There's no Hellhounds and no Panzer Soldats. Or any of that bullshit. Just zombies. Ooh, it's the kill. I want it. Die. So yeah, now this door's closed. You could just cab here, but it's kind of hard. This turns on at me. Yeah, music plays. Whoa, why didn't that thing die? All right, we got some music going. I guess that's like the only easter egg in this map really, besides like shooting the barrels. Alright, let's see how I do with this strategy. Can I get past round 8 by myself? I wonder if I... I love this music. I'm dancing. I'm gonna get killed probably because I'm not. Yep, there's always dug that fucking tunnel somehow. So apparently zombies can break through any fucking homemade barrier. I don't get how that works. Like if you read the zombie survival guide, it says that. And then again, one of the zombie posters in my room says, like, barricade all doors, zombies won't be able to get in. I'm like, which one do I believe? <laughs> There's so many sides of Weaver in Zombie Apocalypse. Oh god, I'm dead. Yeah, it's a little harder doing this strategy when you're 96, alright. No, 97, that gave me a bonus kill. But, yeah. This this World of War. I hope you guys like this video. This is uh, our first special video in a while. But, yeah, new videos coming out every week. See you guys.